we're back on this unit that's having a problem with the freeze up right there. And I'm hooked up to the discharge port. I did not hook up until I was given permission to by their tech support because this unit is still under warranty. And once he gave me permission, this is a R410 system. And you can see our suction line is 68 degrees, which is really low. And you'd expect to see, say, 96 to 120 some PSI on the suction line. So that calls it a day. He gave me the choice of either they send out a brand new unit, and as you can see, we have to rent a forklift to get it up here. It takes two to three men to get this with labor just to swap this unit out will probably be between somewhere between $1,200 and $2,500 in labor and forklift rental and everything like that. The other alternative, I search for the leak. I'm already charging for my diagnosis time. Of course, I charge for my time that I've had to call back three times because unfortunately I got hung up on. Then I had to leave a message. Then I have to wait. Then I'm here. This is all billable labor. And then he just put me through and he came up with this. So that time gets tagged on to the ticket. And then I could look for the leak. And if the leak is at one of the evaporator coils, picking this apart, the amount of hours on a brand new unit that's only a few months old, plus you're having to cut into the line and graze into it and do everything like that. If you were a customer, would you be not happy and say, just send me out a new unit? or have somebody cut into your brand new unit, fix it, replace me that course. The hours to do this would probably add up exactly to equal of that $1,200, $2,500 to replace this unit. So the unit is getting most likely replaced. Uh, I might just look really fast with my Stratus and look for the leak. Uh, but other than that, ouch, brand new unit. I doubt this company carries a warranty for labor, so be warned. Uh, this is probably a very expensive ouch to incur that it'll cost something like 2500 bucks to change this out. It's a six grand unit, you just did, you know, like one third of the value of the unit. And, um, where that's only a couple months old because they'll cover the warranty on the parts but they won't cover the warranty in the labor. So, and this is why I want to do systems now using heat regenerative, using uh, heat recovery with glycol loop systems where my air handler is right here and I put a glycol heat exchanger right here and I turned the air handler unit so it could do dehumidification and then have reheat for the rooms. So it's all covered under warranty, it's all one system and it's highly more reliable than a add-on unit like this that you hang in your room or you put outside or above your room or anything like that. The cost of this compared to the cost of the system would be nearly identical in cost with labor and parts, but you have simplicity the most complicated thing you'll have is the control to electric pump that pumps water to a secondary heat exchanger for heat grid, um, for reheat. All right, guys, see you later. This is a bummer.